Hi, and welcome to the Module 3 Mid-Module Assessment Review. Topic A will be discussed. I can compare the length of various objects. Both pencils are hiding. Can you tell which one is longer? Why or why not? Is it because the hands are covering the pencils? That's a good observation. Let's see, what happens if I remove the hands from the pencils? Wow, now you can see both pencils clearly. Now I want you to compare both pencils. Can you point to the pencil that's longer than the other? Good job. Now I want you to use a complete sentence to state which pencil is longer than the other. This pencil is longer than this pencil. Great job. I want you to see and make sure that the pencils are lined up at an end point. Remember what an end point is? An end point is the end of each object. I do see that the end of each object is lined up by this purple line right here. So yes, that is a correct way to measure. I want you to make sure and compare the pencils again. I want you to use the words shorter than this time in a complete sentence. So please think about what shorter than means. Okay, I think you're ready to compare the pencils again and use the words shorter than in a complete sentence to describe these two pencils. All right, great job. It's my turn. Let me tell you what I think. I think that this pencil is shorter than this pencil. Do you agree or disagree? Why? Great job. When we use the words longer than and shorter than, what is it that we're comparing? I want you to put your thinking caps on and really think about this one. When we use the words longer than and shorter than, what are we comparing? I'll give you 10 seconds to think about it. That's right, we're comparing length. When we use the words longer than and shorter than, we are comparing length. Say that with me. Get ready. When we use the words longer than and shorter than, we are comparing length. One more time. Get ready. When we use the words longer than and shorter than, we are comparing length. I want you to compare the length of the items in each group. First, we're going to use the words longer than in each sentence. So let's start in looking at the first group. Well, I see that we have a bottle of glue and we have what looks like a Sharpie or a marker. Let's take a look at which one is longer than the other. I'll give you 10 seconds to think about which one of these is longer than the other. Okay, so I think you said that this one, that you believe that the Sharpie or the marker is longer than the glue bottle. Is that correct? Agree or disagree? Wow, I see a lot of silent signals, very nice. You're right, the marker is longer than the glue bottle. Let's take a look at these hammers. Let's compare the length of the items of these hammers, and we're going to use the words longer than in our sentence. So I'm taking a minute to take a look at which hammer I think is longer than the other. Okay, I think I made my choice. I want you to make your choice also. 
I'm ready. I think that this hammer is longer than this hammer. Agree or disagree? If you agree, I would like for you to tell me why. And please use the full sentence saying, I agree because. And if you disagree, I would like for you to use a sentence, a full sentence by starting with, I disagree because. Great thinking. Let's take a look at the last objects. Okay, well the lightning bolts look very similar. Okay, so I'm gonna have a hard time thinking about this one. I'm looking for the lightning bolt that is longer than the other. I found my choice. I want you to take a look at the lightning bolt and find the one that is longer than the other. My turn. I think that this lightning bolt is longer than this lightning bolt. Do you agree or disagree? If you agree, I would like for you to tell me why you agree. And if you disagree, I would also like to know why you disagree. Great critical thinking. Compare the length of the items in each group. I want you to use the words shorter than in the complete sentence. Remember, make sure that your thinking caps are still on. We're using the words shorter than to uh, shorter than to compare these two items in a complete sentence. Now, the first thing I want to make sure is to see if my items are lined up with an, at an end point, which they are. I see that my items are lined up at this end point right here, so we can accurately compare the length of these items. I think I've made my decision on which item is shorter than the other. Do you know which one is shorter than the other? Okay, my turn. I think that the crayon is shorter than the Expo marker. Do you agree or disagree? If you agree, I'd like to know why you agree. And if you disagree, I'd also like to know why you disagree. Now we're gonna compare the length of the items in each group. Use the words shorter than in a complete sentence. Remember to line them up at an end point. And I see that I've already lined mine up at an end point right here. Okay, that means that we can accurately compare these objects or we can compare their length accurately because they're lined up at an end point. I think I'm ready to make my decision. I think I have found which item is shorter than the other. Have you? Okay, my turn. I think that this crayon is shorter than the pencil. What do you think, agree or disagree? If you agree, I'd like to know why you agree that the crayon is shorter than the pencil. And if you disagree, I'd like to know why you don't think that the crayon is shorter than the pencil. Topic C, I can compare classroom objects using heavier than and lighter than. In this case, we will not only be using classroom objects, but we can use objects that we have at home. We've been talking a lot about how tall, short, or long things are. There are other ways we can compare things, aren't there? So I want you to see if you can think of any more. Let's do some comparing right now. Take a look at your math homework book. Let's pick it up. And if you have some cotton balls, maybe in your bathroom, maybe, or some beans in your kitchen cupboard, let's go ahead and grab a few of those right now. All right, so have put your math book in one hand, and I want you to put the beans, or the cotton balls, or any other object in the other hand. I want you to tell me which you would rather carry in your backpack all day. I wonder if I would wanna carry a big heavy math book in my backpack all day or some very light cotton balls or beans in my backpack. Hmm. I can tell you what, why I would wanna carry some cotton balls or some beans in my backpack. 
I would prefer to carry some cotton balls or some beans in my backpack because I think that cotton balls are lighter than the math book. What do you think? Can you tell me in a complete sentence which you would prefer to carry in your backpack all day? Great answers. The cotton balls are lighter than the book. The book is heavier than the cotton balls. We can say that they have different weights. Weight is the math word for how heavy or light something is. Do you think the book will be heavier than the eraser? Or do you think it'll be lighter than the eraser? I want you to test and see. Can you grab an eraser? And have your math book in the other hand? Use a complete sentence to tell me which is heavier than the other or which is lighter than the other. It doesn't have to be an eraser. You can find any other object in your home. Put it in one hand with your math book in another. You can even find a different object that's not a math book. You can find a remote control and a pen, a hairbrush and a pencil, a book and a shoe, anything that you can find in your house to compare weight. Please use a complete sentence to tell me which one is heavier than or lighter than the other. Let's test a few more items against the weight of the book. Remember, use a complete sentence when you tell me what is heavier than or lighter than your book. So just like I said, we don't have to have our book. We can use something else, a remote control. We can use even a blanket. We can use a picture. We can use anything in our household that we can so that we can compare weights. And I would like for you to find five different things that you can compare their weight. And I want you to tell um, your mom, your dad, your uncle, your aunt, your puppy. I would like for you to tell them in a complete sentence which is heavier than the other and which is lighter than the other. When we use the words heavier than and lighter than, what do you think we're comparing? What's the math word we learned for comparing the word, for comparing using the words heavier than and lighter than? Think big. I'll give you five seconds to think about that vocabulary word. You're right. We're comparing weight. When we use the words heavier than and lighter than, we are comparing weight. Say that with me. Get ready. When we use the words heavier than and lighter than, we are comparing weight. Again, say that with me. Get ready. When we use the words heavier than and lighter than, we are comparing weight. Now I would like for you to say it by yourself. I'll wait. Great job. I can compare volume using more than, less than, and the same as by pouring. For this activity, we'll need a small cup and some rice, which you might be able to find in your kitchen. Please pause the video if you would like to look for these objects. What do you notice on your tray, on your table, on your countertop, or even on the floor? What do you notice? I want you to watch um, as maybe uh, your helper or your partner fills your cup with rice. I want you to tell them when to stop because when it's full, you want them to stop. So let me give you the directions again. As your partner pours rice into a cup or a small bowl, I want you to tell them stop when it is full, okay? I'm gonna give you some time. I want you to pause this video and take a look at that and we'll come back and talk about it. Okay, so how can you tell that the cup was full? Well, I can tell you how I thought my cup was full. Well, when I noticed that the rice touched the very edge of the cup or the container, when it was very at the top, but it did not spill over, that's how I knew the cup was full. How did you know? Can you tell me and use a complete sentence? Now, the one of the math words for how much something holds is capacity. We will be learning about capacity. I wonder if the capacity of another container is more than or less than the capacity of the cup that you just used. Do you think it'll hold more 
or less rice. So let's go and find another small container. And hopefully we have a little bit more rice that we can use. Okay, and I want you to think first. I want you to think, I want you to take a look at the container and I want you to think, hmm, I wonder, and this is a word that I will use. I think the capacity of this container is less than the capacity of this cup. But your containers might be different than mine. So you might think that the capacity of the new container is more than the capacity of the cup that you just used. So what we have to do is we have to test your guess. What I want you to do is I want you to test your guess and then I want you to tell me what happened by using a complete sentence. All right, talk to your partner about which container might have more or less capacity. Take a look at these pictures. Which might have about the same capacity? What happens if the containers are not filled up to the top? Can we tell that they're filled completely from looking at pictures? So if we are looking at these two cups right here, can we tell if they're both filled to the top? Can you tell me which one has more capacity? Hmm, I wonder how you might think or know if one has more capacity than the other. Use your thinking brain and I want you to tell me in a complete sentence which one you think has more capacity than the other. I also want you to do the same thing for the rest of these pictures. And I also want you to take a look at this last one. When you're done taking a look at all of these pictures and saying your complete sentence, I would like for us to look at this one together. Are you ready? Oh, you're not ready yet. That's okay. Go ahead and pause the video until you are ready and then come back and play, press play so we can continue to do this one together. I'm so proud of you for using your complete sentences to let us know which you think has more capacity than the other. Now, but let's take a look at this one. These are pots, right? Some of these are cooking pots. You might have seen these before, but maybe you haven't seen them. Well, I would like to say that I think they might have the same capacity because they look about the same size. This one doesn't look much bigger than this one or much smaller than this one. So I would say, I think that these both have the same capacity. What do you think? Do you think that one of these has more or less capacity than the other? Let me know what you think. I can explore conservation of volume by pouring. This is where we have a little bit more fun. I want you to take a look at um, this bottle that we have. It can be a regular water bottle. I wonder if the capacity of the bottle is more or less the capacity of this bowl that I have. Hmm, maybe you have a bowl in your kitchen that you can use. It can be a small one and maybe a water bottle as well. How do you think you can find out which one of the containers has more capacity or less capacity than the other. Well, I know what I can do. I can get my bag of rice and I can use a funnel so that I can put some rice into the bottle, fill it up all the way. What do you think you notice? Does it look like it has a lot of capacity when you're filling up that bottle with rice? Okay, I also wanna draw what the bottle looks like. I wanna see what it looks like, what you think it looks like. What do you think will happen if I pour the rice inside the bottle into the empty bowl? What do you think? I want you to tell me in a complete sentence what you think will happen. Do you think that the capacity of the bowl is smaller so it might overflow? Or do you think the capacity of the bowl is larger or more than the capacity of the bottle. So there might be more than enough space in there for all that rice. What do you think? I want you to use the words more than or less than to compare these two objects. Remember, when we use the words more than or less than, what do you think we're comparing? Think big. 
When we use the words more than or less than, what are we comparing? You're correct. We're comparing capacity. When we use the words more than and less than, we are comparing capacity. Can you say that with me? Get ready. When we use the words more than and less than, we are comparing capacity. One more time. Get ready. When we use the words more than and less than, we are comparing capacity. Now I want you to say it to yourself. Great job. And now I want you to turn to your partner and tell your partner. Maybe we need a little bit more practice with that one. Capacity can be a tricky word. All right, so let's say it with me again. My turn. When we use the words more than and less than, we are comparing capacity. Say it with me. Get ready. When we use the words more than and less than, we are comparing capacity.